Boom shakalaka. That's how you get a job in global health. Please hang up and try again. Welcome back. Today we're talking about jobs in global health. I'm going to tell you about some of my favorite organizations. I'm going to put them into three different categories to help you think through where you might fit in. So stick with me. Let's do this. Boom shakalaka. Now there are three categories of organizations I'm going to talk to you about today. They are firstly the UN agencies. Secondly, I'm going to talk to you about funding agencies. And then finally, I'm going to talk to you about implementing partners. I'm going to give a few examples in each of these three categories, right? There are other categories of organizations out there. There's academia, there's the private sector. But I'm really going to talk about the kinds of organizations where I think that the best opportunities for you to find work might be. Now, I know I called this video the top 10 places that you might find work in the global health space. I'm going to give you more than 10, so you get a bonus. Let's do this. Giddy up. Let's start by talking about the UN agencies. We're going to talk about organizations that either have a direct raison d'etre to work in public health or in global health, and then some that have an overlapping interest with public health. We've got the WHO, we've got UNICEF, we've got UNHCR, we've got UNAIDS, we've got the WTO, and we've got the World Bank. Even though the World Bank isn't really a UN agency, it's in many ways very similar, so we're going to talk about it in the same bucket. So UN agencies typically work with governments, they work with nation states, right? They work at a policy level, they, pro they provide guidelines. They also facilitate agreements and frameworks. For example, the Framework Convention on Tobacco Control, where countries kind of agreed to work together to combat tobacco. The International Health Regulations, which is how we respond to infectious disease threats that may cross borders. So let's talk about these agencies that are up here. We've got the World Health Organization, UNICEF, which is the Children's Fund, and UNAIDS that have a very typical and very specific health mandate. UNHCR, which is really uh, the High Commission for Refugees. Obviously, a lot of displaced people have health issues, so they will employ people that have a public health background. The World Trade Organization, while they don't have a specific health mandate, a lot of what they do has implications for health. So a lot of the, the multilateral trade agreements that countries sign into have implications for health. The best example is the TRIPS agreement, the trade-related aspects of intellectual property, and that has implications for access to medicines, et cetera, et cetera. So they, are, they certainly do employ people that have a health background, and you could look to them for jobs. A super quick interruption to this video to say thanks to Nested Knowledge. Nested Knowledge sponsor this channel, and I absolutely love them. Nested Knowledge is an online platform that you can use to do literature review and systematic literature review. And what I love about this platform is that I'm using it for the entire process, beginning to end, all the way from search, screening, tagging, extraction, all the way through to actually writing the manuscript, creating a living document online. And I've got my entire team using it, so we collaborate, different people doing different parts of the process. I used to hate Lit Review, now I love it. If you want to love Lit Review, check out Nested Knowledge, click on the link in the description below. And without further ado, on with the video. The World Bank, now the World Bank is not a UN agency, and they don't just provide policy guidelines, etc., etc., they also provide money. But they do work at that supranational level, working with governments, working with nation states, and so I've put them into this, into this box. And they certainly have a lot, they do a lot of work in the health space. So d definitely look at the World Bank if you're looking for work in the global health space. Now let's talk about funding agencies. There's the Global Fund for AIDS, TB and Malaria. There's the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. There's UNITAID, there's USAID and there's DFID. Now these first three are multilateral funding agencies. They provide funding for multiple implementing partners and governments. The bottom two are bilateral. It's between one government and another. Any one of these funding agencies would be an amazing place to work. All right? I worked for UNITAID and I absolutely loved it. Highly recommended. If you're looking for work in the global health space, definitely look at these and other funding agencies. You will love it. And finally, we're going to talk about implementing partners. The three that I want to talk about here are Partners in Health, started by the late Paul Farmer, MSF, of course, everybody knows MSF, and the Clinton Health Access Initiative, or CHI. Now, these implementing partners are in country. They're at the coalface. They're on the ground. They're getting the job done. I worked for CHI. I absolutely loved it. It was one of the best experiences of my life. So here's my formula for getting a job in global health. Number one, you select a small number of organizations that you know have a mission that overlaps with your particular area of interest. Number two, you network like crazy. You develop professional relationships with people working in that space. And number three, try and get some short-term consulting work with an organization that you're interested in. It gives you an opportunity to get to know the organization better. What are the nuts and bolts? Where are the gaps? It gives them an opportunity to get to know you. What are you made of? What can you do? And then when the right opportunity arises, they already know you. You know them. It's a match made in heaven. You've got a job. Boom shakalaka. That's how you get a job in global health. Now, this is how I can help you. I've put together a cheat sheet that's got information about all of these organizations and others and links to the places where you can actually apply for jobs. So click on the link that's on the screen right now. Get the cheat sheet. Get the job. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye. Thank you.